Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uncle Max Cookery Lessons. This one is just for Rumble and it is the turkey gravy. It's beautiful. Okay, there's the vegetables lined up on a board ready. And the vegetables are for mirepoix. So mirepoix is a French term that is basically describes some vegetables that are really good for making stocks and soups and things. So we're just roughly hacking them up because it's not for flavour. Half the bulb of garlic went in the mirepoix, the other half went inside the, cav the cavity of the turkey. So once we've got all those vegetables prepared, the, the leek, I'm going to do it in a separate bowl because leek can be gritty, can have a bit of dirt and stuff inside its layers. So we're going to have that separate and we're going to give it a thorough washing. And don't worry about the skin, if it stays on the onion, it doesn't matter. So this is purely to impart flavour into our wonderful gravy and it is seriously good. So this is the roasting tray that we're gonna sit the bird in. So the bird is gonna sit upon the vegetables. So the vegetables also act as a trivet, which is really, really useful. That weird looking thing is the turkey neck. So I'm just basically chopping that up into little bits. That's gonna go in there as well. I don't waste a single bit of flavor. So the full recipe will be in the description, but the herbs there went inside the cavity along with the garlic and it was well buttered. And that's gonna go in the oven to roast. That's the next video that's coming, so. The bird is now resting and that juices there left over from that and in, in with some flour for thickening, some chicken stock, the white wine went in, the herbs and the garlic from the cavity went back in and simmer that. Stir it and simmer it. There you go, at least 30 minutes or so. Now you might think it's too thin, it may be a tad thin, but we can thicken it later if you like. I am now going to strain it thoroughly, take your time here. Those conical strainers are quite good for this, better than a regular sieve because they're quite tough. They can, you can put a bit of pressure into them and they won't break. But yeah, get all of that in, don't waste a single drop. Right, so that's, the vegetables have done their job, thank you vegetables. So now we're left with the gravy, which you can reduce further if you like, and obviously as you reduce it, you can skim away with a ladle the scum that comes to the surface. That's what that's called, skimming the scum. And I say, I, I actually don't like my gravy too thick with a roast dinner. It's not like it's KFC gravy. So I'm happy with that consistency. But if you want yours a bit thicker, you can always add a bit of cornstarch. But that's it. It's done. Thank you very much for watching this one. I hope you love this gravy recipe. And um, I'll see you in the next video. And it will be coming really soon. And it's going to be a dry, bind, a dry brined roast turkey. Wonderful stuff. See you then. Bye. What? <laughs>